Open code is an open source AI coding agent which we are going to install in this video with Olama. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Let's get right into it. I have this Ubuntu system. I have this GPU card for my Olama models. For that I have this Quen3 coder 30 billion which I am going to use for this video but you can use any model of your choice. I am going to create a virtual environment with Konda. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs so please do check them out. Our environment is ready. Let's install open code by running this shell command. You can install it in CLI, in TUI which is terminal user interface or as a VS Code extension. I am going to just go with this TUI and if you don't know what Olama is, Olama is one of the easiest tools to run models locally and I have done heaps of videos on Olama and if you're starting out, I think Olama might be a good option. So let's wait for it to get installed, the open code. Open code is done, next add it into your path and let me now reload my shell configuration and everything is done next up simply run open code and open code should be running here first step you simply just go and do init and it initializes your existing project wherever you are so i am already in this directory where i have this app.py file a random file which i created a python code for another video what this init does it creates something called as agents.md and you can see that it is creating that if you uh, don't know about agents.md just go to my channel and you know watch this first video even stop everything and watch this video first because agents.md is an open format for guiding your ai coding agents plus i would highly recommend you also watch this video agent skills which is uh, a way to give your ai coding agents a consistent expertise so if you are into vibe coding or pair programming with AI and you routinely use Cloud Code or Open Code or any other similar coding agent, I would highly recommend you watch both of these videos because that, that is going to help you out a lot in your day-to-day -day work. So it has already created that agents.md file and this is what it looks like and you can watch more about it in that video. Okay, so that is all good. Next step, we need to connect the provider, which means that in this case, we are connecting Olama. So I'm just going to put slash connect here. And these are all the providers. Now, if you go to others, you will see that there is no Olama. Olama cloud is there, but that is a paid option. Even if you search here with Olama, there's nothing. So we need to create that Olama's provider. I'm pressing escape, control C. And now what I need to do, I need to go to my dot open code directory so i'll just go there now and open this open code dot json file in my editor and we need to put this configuration in this file now what this configuration is doing it is simply use creating a new provider with olama the name is olama local as you can see here in this line and then this is where my Olama is running. I'm going to use this Quen3 Coder 30 billion model. You can use any model of your choice as long as it has, you know, over 8K context window, you know, more importantly, 32K would be great. Plus it should support tool use, which means you can call external functionality. So all of it is there. Let me save it. If I do Olama list, I already have that model. If you don't have it, just do Olama poll and then model name Quen3 dash coder colon 30 billion. So we are all set. Let's do open code again. It is running. Let's do connect, enter, and then just type Olama. And you see that now we have that new provider. Click here. Just say anything and I want to run this Quen3 coder. I'm just selecting my model. You can use, of course, multiple models. Just put them with the comma separated value in that uh, configuration file, which I showed you. 
and now you can talk about it let's first ask it a general question is what is python decorator for example and it is going to think and give you the answer and there you go so it has loaded the model and it is giving me the answer and just for the sake of fun let me quickly show you my vram consumption because there are a few people who always ask it no matter what so this is my vram consumption but for this video it is a moot point you can use any model of your choice okay and then you can just start you know talking with it for example uh if you do tab there's a planning mode there is a build mode in the plan it doesn't do anything it just shows you the plan i'm just pressing tab here you see it changes here the plan build plan build with the tab and then if you want to see the command just press ctrl p and these are all the commands which you can do the name session switch and all, all that press escape to get out of here and from here you can even you know chat with your code base you can debug your code and you can of course add new features you can also go with some lsps which is you know something like language server protocol where uh, you can have support for different languages it also for you know give you support for mcps the model context protocol and then agent skills it has recently added that but i will be doing another separate video on all of these because this video is mainly focused on how to install this open code with the olama and then just use it for your own use cases locally so for instance you can just say this you know describe add sign and whatever you see it already gave us the file name because if i just say app.py you see you can just it shows you all of the files so i'm just going to go with app file uh file in this code base and then it is going to you know describe it for you it takes a bit of a time sometimes to come back there you go so it is exploring it it is reading it and it is going to give you uh, all the detail that there you go so all the detail is there around your file okay so it has given it and then you can i guess uh, can you optimize the code in this app.py file and then it is going to review it and it is going to optimize it you can add new features and there are a lot of things you can do with it of course so you see it is reviewing and all that it is going systematically on the right hand side there is a to-do list it is going to do all that list and then keep ticking over it and by the way uh, one thing i would uh, very honestly tell you if you are really looking to do this sort of coding with these coding agents um in the production environment go with you know the at the moment as i speak in december 2025 i have to be very careful what i say here is to <clears throat> go with i would say uh opus 4.5 if you can afford it of course so one of the best models out there for this sort of coding at the moment i don't know what would happen next week but 29th of december 2025 opus 4.5 it's best for this sort of uh, pair programming and all that. So you see it is editing it and checking it out. I'm not going to go into that detail. Stay tuned. I will be doing more videos on MCP, you know, LSP and especially agent skills, which I believe one of the best thing out there at the moment. Let me know what do you think. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member if you want to support the channel. Please follow me on X if you're looking for AI updates without any hype. Thank you for all the support.